Hello guys and welcome to another video. My name is Nazmus Kadrika. Today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 1439 uh, 14936 I believe uh, the latest build was released today at the time of this recording uh, this September 28th 2016 and um, unfortunately this build doesn't have anything new that's visible but I did promise you in my last video that I will cover a few things that I failed to cover due to a problem I was having in updating the apps which I was able to resolve but we'll talk about that in a bit but first let's take a look at what's new in this build I'm at blocks uh, blo blocks now blogs.windows.com and they have all the windows blogs that you ever want from different teams and different departments and one of the department is the windows experience blog and from there you get windows insider uh, notices one of them is announcing windows 10 insider preview build 14 936 for PCs and mobile. We'll talk about the mobile and, and God willing inshallah in a in another video But this video is about PC. So let's get started So first thing first Here are some features that came in the previous build for Windows insiders But I wasn't able to show you guys because for some reason apps would would fail in when it won't try to update in the Windows Store I was able to resolve this um, by restarting my PC and I was able to update the apps so let's talk about that so the first new feature that was available last week or end of last week was um, the feedback hub if I go to feedback hub feedback hub right there um, you'll notice that it's dark uh, until now I think oh, for more than a year and a half since Windows 10 actually more, almost two years almost two years um, uh, since Windows 10 was available the feedback app was um, I think in, uh, wa all is white I didn't match your system color scheme so I think November of 2014 was when Microsoft released the Windows Insider pub whatever um, and I think the feedback app was released near the same time as well and since then the app was always white and it was light um, so and when Microsoft released the dark mode in Windows 10 for PCs and Windows 10 from phones even earlier um, it, did not, it did not respect your system color choice but now with that update it does and I could see the app is dark and I could go there's also a new settings icon uh, that is new with this update as well before that there was no way to configuring your app settings there was your user profile settings you could see your profile and stats but um, I think it would sign in and out as well maybe not I don't know but uh, this settings is new and this shows uh, this gives you an option to go back to how it was light theme so you could see how it was before this is how it was the, you're we're stuck with this bright theme which is a pain in the phone when you know that when you're reaching at night everything's dark and you open up the feedback and it's really bright in your eyes so but yeah this has changed and I could always have it dark or you could match your system theme which is the default option I prefer that that's how it is in group music and movies and TVs I uh, that's how it is in most apps in Windows 10 mobile but unf unfortunately uh, Microsoft Edge on Windows 10 for PCs unfortunately does not respect your system theme it's always light by default I wish it did respect your system theme I really really do uh, but now there you go this app does um, a lot of people have been asking Microsoft does give a choice on, on per app basis about light and dark theme and I think Microsoft is doing a good job with Edge um, on the PC at least Groove Music, Movies and TVs, um, Windows Feedback so I think they should do it with more apps like Calculator and uh, I think they'll do it on Mail and Counter too but anyway so let's the next update that I was I didn't get to show you is the Mail app so oh, not Mail, Maps this app also uh, let's go this app also brings you a dark theme uh, it's more noticeable noticeable on the phone where the app bars on the bottom but if I s s skill this app I can do that but if I was able in the past but yeah if I I was able to skill the app and get the phone UI but if it was small enough I'd be able to show you the phone UI but anyway I could show it on my Windows phone video but uh, again it's a dark theme it used to be light and again if I go to settings here um, map theme light and dark oh there's a map theme that's for the actual map itself but app colors um, you have the light dark and system color so light again you have to restart the app this is uh, how the um, maps app look like for a long time because it was a bright theme and very bright again I'll switch back to my system theme I prefer apps respecting that I really do 
and there's all they also have and you can see a dark theme they also have a map color this was there f for a long time this useful in walking navigating at night you need a darker colored map I think on the phone it uses the um, the time of your day to determine whether to give you a dark map or light map but yeah there you go so there you have it Windows 10 maps app this was available in the last uh, preview but again I uh, just wanted to show you guys because I didn't get a chance to show you guys yesterday um, but now here are some new extensions for Microsoft that's, that's, uh, says that's available to try turn off the lights let's do that this allows you to uh, turn the rest of the web page dim while you're watching a video so let's do that let's uh, install this extension first and then we will check out this uh, this uh, this extension it's back so we could see it's now let's turn on the extension there's some message uh, there's a uh, the settings page So let's go to YouTube. Let's go to my channel um, and let's just play a random video and it would try the turn off the lights feature. So let's do that. Let's play my latest video here. Hope it loads at least. Microsoft Edge has really perfor huge performance problems. But uh, again, I'm going to use the turn off the lights feature. And nothing happens. So, uh, guys, oh, it worked. It worked. Okay, okay, so it just took a time. But you could see everything but the video is bright, which is useful if you're in, in this view, right? It's very useful, very nice. I mean, I never used this in Chrome. I had, I had this extension installed in Chrome for a while, but I um, haven't had this for a while. Oh, it's a different kind of dim now which is interesting it was dimmer before right so so yeah anyway there's your turn off the light extension fun doing it over and over again right uh, it's weird but yeah there you go turn off the lights okay so let's talk about something else that's new um, Microsoft says authentic Auth authentication changes affecting connectivity to NAS devices, home file. Basically, if you're running a server and you have files in your network, you're going to have issues uh, looking, viewing your files unless you have your PC's uh, set network set to private or enterprise. So, uh, by, by default, your P Windows 10 sets your wireless network to be public to for security. But you have to manually change it to private or enterprise. So, for this to work, it's a bug in this build. But yeah, or maybe it's not a bug. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a feature. We will know. Windows subsystem for Linux, Linux changes. This is important. Uh, we had had a video video on how to enable Bash, and if you if you are using Bash in a future update, at Microsoft didn't say when. It says in a coming build, um, Microsoft will upgrade the inst Ubuntu, Ubuntu installation that comes with the Bash feature in Windows 10 to the latest Win Ubuntu long term uh, long term LTS long term support release. So the latest Ubuntu LTS release is. Um, uh, 16.04, but Windows 10 is still running the previous LTS support release is 14.1410 or 14.04. Uh, trusty, they call it. The new uh, Ubuntu LTS release is 16.04 Xenial, and um, Microsoft will be including that that version of Ubuntu in the future installs. However, if you are if you already have Bash installed, you are not going to be forced to upgrade because unlike Windows, Linux are completely manual. So you're not forced to do anything so the Ubuntu installation you have currently will stay unless you actually run an update command which uh, this uh, uh, existing inst existing instance of trusty will not be updated automatically your user can update the trusty image of its annual by do that by using the do dot do dash release dash upgrade command full WSL release notes can be found here but yeah but if you want to check which version of Ubuntu um, Installation you have currently, just do on your bash uh, prompt. Just do this. When you see the dollar sign uh, prompt, just type in lsb underscore release space dash a. This will give you the Ubuntu version. In this example, we have 14.04, the one that's currently included in Windows 10, the trusty version, LTS. Uh, see trusty. So if you have this version, you'll need to manually update it. If you haven't installed Bash yet and you install it later, and Microsoft updates their backend images. Uh, then you'll get the latest versions, and you, I don't think you could do anything about that by back then. Once you once you have the update, I don't think you can downgrade because um, 
the image of Ubuntu comes from the Windows Store and you always get the latest version when you download it. So there's that. So other improvements and fixes, we fixed an issue causing narrator to continue to speak the progress of a song. So uh, one of the problems with the previous build is uh, the narrator would, would say the timestamp of a song so you could hear the song. Uh, issue where the tab key would for the, to navigate the settings wouldn't work, that's fixed. Uh, Explorer.exe frequently crashing, I had that for issue a while. I hope that's fixed. So they say it's fixed, I'll, I'll see if it's fixed or not. Now, known issues for PCs. This this has been an issue for several builds already. Optional comp components may not work. So if it doesn't work, all you have to do is turn it off and turn it back on again. So there you go. Um, actually, no, I don't have to turn it off. I think it automatically gets turned off. So you, have, you just have to turn it on. I might have to restart your apps after that. Tencent apps and game. This is also an issue that was uh, uh, plaguing previous builds as well. Tencent apps and games will cause PC to blue screen. Uh, running S SFC slash scan now is an, in an elevated command prompt will fail at 20%. Um, and with an arrow, the error that's arrow error that says could not perform the requested operations. Other improvements and fixes for mobile. We are talking. We'll talk about that in my mobile video. Known issues for mobile. So another very important. This is important, guys. If you're running an older build, older than 14926, your PC has expired. Uh, will expire on October 1st. You have been getting a notification notification since September 15th. And if you don't update by October 1st, your PC will reboot every three hours. You don't want that. And worst case scenario, after October 15th, your PC will actually fail to boot. You don't want to get in that state because then you'll have to actually do a clean install by plugging in USB. That's a very bad state to be in. Do not let your PC go in that state. So upgrade your PCs before um, October 15th. Now, if you're on a stable branch like 14.393, the Redstone 1 build of uh, anniversary update, RTM builds, you're fine. This is only for people on Redstone 2 builds. So if you're on the slow ring on release preview at this time, you're still on Redstone 1 builds, you're fine. So this is only for people running early versions of Redstone 2, you should update. So if you're not on build 14.393, or if you're, oh, and you're not on build 14.926 or higher, you're in trouble. You need to update. All right, so team updates, or then some team updates. So guys, there's, there you have it, Windows 10 for PCs, build 49, uh, 14.936, there you we checked, talked about the new features, the turn off the light extensions. There isn't any, uh, anything else new. There's SMS right there. So if I go to um, uh, Skype, I should see my SMSs. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, I have a missed call notification. There, this there, this uh, this shows um, uh, missed call notifications that I might get. So. Uh, SMSs, so you can see SMS, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that's uh, um, but that's this build. So if I have if you have guys any questions or comments, please let me know below. I'll definitely like to answer them. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye bye.